Welcome back for another video. I did some scouting yesterday, trying to find some geese. It's early season goose here in Missouri, but I didn't find any geese last night. But I did find some doves. I actually had two doves land in the field right over there while I was getting set up. Out here a little bit late, sun's not all the way up yet. It's uh, it's probably like actually just like legal sunrise at this point, so. Yeah, 712, so. We got quite a few doves. I think I, I was driving down this farm road here and um, they either came, in, came out of these trees or that tree right there. But like, I was parked in the truck right here just looking, uh, seeing what I could see because I saw like a couple of doves fly. I'm like, oh, hey, there's a couple of doves. But then it's just like clouds of doves. So hopefully I, I, I deed them correctly as doves, but um, I don't know. Out here with the pup once again. She's going to eat so much grass today that she throws up. Sit. But uh, I know I said I wasn't going to take her on another dove hunt, but I think this will be all right. I got a check cord. We've done a lot more training since the last time we were out, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Hopefully shoot a dove. Only time will tell. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do because I just now realize I'm facing right into the sun. So <sighs> I knew this spot was too good to be true, just sitting along this fence. But that's okay. I'll make adjustments later if I have to. Are you going to eat so much grass you throw up? Huh, buddy? Yeah, that's probably going to happen. No, heal. Sit. The bird. Core. Hold it up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hurry up. Getting all tangled up in these corn stalks with that rope. Good girl, here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, fetch. Here. Sit. Sit. Fetch. Sit. Fetch. Here. No. Here. Drop. Drop. Good girl, heel. Bird number one for the day. Little dove. She found it. She got it. Her pickup was a little better on that one. Heel. She had to hunt for it for a while, but that's kind of how it goes. Are those all doves? Surely they're not. Those are out front. Yep, so we're at one dove so far. I'm contemplating moving over that fence over there because I've seen quite a few birds go down just like right over this little hill right here. But I don't know. I'll stick it out here and see what else we see. I had one fly by that I just like totally didn't realize it was a dove. It was mixed in with a group of Tweety birds. As they were flying by, I'm like, you know, one of these is probably a dove. But by the time I saw it, it was a little bit too late. But yeah, not a barn burner here, but hey, we got a bird. We got a retrieve, right? We got a retrieve? Yep. So, 
Good day in my book. We'll see if we can get a couple more. The morning is still young. No bird. No bird. No. The bird. Good girl, here. Fetch. Good girl, here. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Place, place, place. Drop. Good girl. Good job. Bird number two. She's getting the hang of it. She's really destroying a lot of doves, but that was good. You were steady. You were ready to go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Sit. That guy kind of came out of nowhere, didn't he? That was Kind of a surprise attack, honestly. I wasn't wasn't prepared for that. But Cora had a good mark. She saw where it was. She was steady, waiting for me to send her. I actually uh, went back to the truck and got her place board because we're having sit. We're having a bit of a hard time sitting still. So having her on this place board really helps out with that. So. Keeping that in mind, this is really just a training session. This is a more of a dog training session than a hunt. So it's good that we keep it that way, get her a few retrieves, but also maybe miss a couple, which I did that as well. So um, yeah, we'll keep at it. You're doing good, dude. That's probably one of the best dove retrieves you've done. So let's keep at it, all right? Can you do that for me? Well guys, ended this morning with just two doves. But still, not a bad day out here, doing some hunting. Uh, my original plan was to find some geese, but that didn't happen, so I had to go to plan B and hunt some doves. And it was a great experience for Cora, so can't complain about that at all. But I think we're gonna be going out this afternoon, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick drive around, see if I can find a better spot. But if not, I think this spot will keep producing, you know, probably three or four more doves, but um, it's not like there's crazy numbers in the area, so. I don't know, can't complain about shooting one or two and that's all you can shoot and that's all you got. So better than sitting on the couch. So we're, I'm gonna do some scouting here and see if we can find something for this afternoon. Well guys, it's actually uh, the next morning. I went out last night with my wife for like 45 minutes and uh, she got sick of it. That was actually the first time I took her hunting. So yeah, we didn't sit out for very long last night. So I'm in a new spot, I found quite a few doves in this area between like all these trees back in here there's a tree down the fence over there there's a little pond back there so um and cut corn right in front so i think it's going to be a good spot to hunt i saw quite a few birds flying around in it yesterday after my hunt so we'll give it a go and see uh see what we can do but i've got a dog crawling on my lap she smells like she rolled in something rank Hey, what did you roll in? You smell like sh oh, golly! No, sit. You must roll in like coyote. Sh I had a uh, near-death experience this morning. Get down! I had a near-death experience this morning. Uh, went to put in my contacts and. Uh, 
was greeted with a burning sensation the second it touched my eyeball. Um, so I guess I used my wife's contact solution that's like got hydrogen peroxide and stuff in it. It's like a, a contact lens cleaner, not necessarily like a solution. So that was fun. I thought I was going to actually die this morning. It was horrible pain. I swear, this pop, she's so squirrely. I need you to go place and stay there, sit. No, sit. Good night. She's ready to go, I'll tell you that much. Hopefully we see a couple of doves. I've got a feeling we will. There's a lot of spent corn out here, so. There's definitely some food for those doves to come in and get. There's some water, there's some dead trees. I don't know what else a dove could need. Teal? Oh my gosh, that was teal, almost landing in cut corn. What the heck is going on today? bird sit sit no bird sit I rushed that a lot well <laughs> that was kind of short-lived but there is some craziness that went down I had some teal come into the spinners is that a duck Kind of flying like a duck. Um, I have never seen teal hit a cornfield before. That was crazy. If I had steel in my gun, and if it was teal season, I would have shot some teal. But uh, no, that was cool to watch. Regardless, I mean, that was not not just once, twice. They just kind of worked their way into the set, so that was pretty cool. That's just kind of how it goes. Got to spend some time out here with my pup. She's annoying as usual, but she'll get she'll get used to this. It's the whole sitting still and not going exploring part that's hard for her, but we'll get there. All in all, past two days have been pretty decent. Got some shooting in this morning on one bird. Shot a couple birds yesterday morning, so can't complain about it. Getting the dog out and uh, just putting her in a real hunting situation is important. So that's good, not a loss. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot when you guys do that. Yeah, Cora says to subscribe. Isn't that right, dude? Huh? But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.